Welcome to Extra Extra, presented by VDG Sports. I'm your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. No filter. Very sincere. You can follow Extra Extra on Twitter at Extra Extra VDG. Be sure to follow Extra Extra on Twitter at Extra Extra VDG. Check out the website as well, Extra Extra dot VDG Sports dot com. Once again, Extra Extra dot VDG Sports dot com. There's a YouTube as well, VDG Sports. Like, subscribe, share, or do what it is you do there because everything is there. And when I mean everything, everything is there except all things Vince. Where you can get all things Vince, VinceDouglasGregory.com. Why am I bringing this up? Because VinceDouglasGregory.com is not sponsoring this episode is not sponsoring this episode. And if you want to keep up with me, my whereabouts, my well-being, and everything in between, once again, VinceDouglasGregory.com. Noobs, thank you for giving me an opportunity. Thank you for giving me a chance. Regs, we back at it again. Regs, we do what we do. Regs, this feels like it's every single day, but it's not every day. It just feels that way with this special, unique bond that we share, this special, unique bond that we have. And you know the rest. I don't have to repeat non-verbal communicating peeps. I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to say that. Why? To let everybody else know why we communicate non-verbal. So I didn't have to say a word. I definitely know where I want to go. I definitely know where I want to go and I definitely know what got me to this place. And I'm going to say personal growth is definitely helping me. Personal growth is definitely helping me out more, more, uh, more often than not or more than it should. Because in the past, I would have came here and just see some say some, see some say some, which I still do. But sometimes um, it gets boring. It gets a little old when it's the same exact thing. I'm just going to say things didn't go as planned. Things went a little right. And that's uh, my left, your right. Things went a little right. But hey, this is a no judge zone. No judge zone. You really think I was going to go and say no judge zone without doing the, the, the iconic no judge zone bellow. Uh-uh. You don't know me very well. Uh-uh. You don't know me very well if that was the case. Here's the thing. I definitely had to go to my happy place. I went to my happy place and I'm not going to say I misremembered. One of my happy places, I'm not going to say I didn't recall one of my happy places because I always knew this was a happy place. And I always knew that this was one of my go to spots in the, in the past. The thing or the issue or one of the multiple questions that I had and needed answers for how I was going to bring this across without not being considered a non-truth teller? How was I going to bring this across without being thought of as a non-truth teller? I like the truth. I got a special relationship with the truth. I heart the truth, and it's just something about the truth that makes me feel good. It's just something about the truth that makes me feel nice. It's just something about the truth that I just, I need more of that angelic bird-like 
voice. I have a special relationship with the truth and I want to maintain this special relationship that I have with the truth. That's why I knew this happy place is there. I knew and I know this is one of my happy places. It's just that I didn't want it to come across as something as a as something as not true or me being disingenuous or me uh, halfway telling the truth. And I brought, I know what you're thinking. Don't think that it is wrong or don't think that because I'm going to tell you why it is not correct in my eyes. Yes. I said in the past that the library is definitely not one of my spots. The library is definitely not something that I enjoyed. And it was definitely something that I didn't like to do as a hangout, didn't like to do as a social gathering when I was uh, at my university. It was the place to go to be social. It was a place to go to do fun and kooky and good things bad things and just study when really no studying got done. It was more as a not even not even sharing of ideas. It was just a basically a place to go to get out of your room or get out of wherever you were and to just be amongst other people Misery loves company, basically. Misery loves company. It's a place where you can go and be miserable with everyone else. And I'm definitely doing the air quotes with miserable because one man's junk is another man's treasure. You know what it, you know what it is. It's bird-like and it's angelic. Angelic, bird-like voice. Basically, everybody was in the same position, whether it's a, a upcoming exam, upcoming final, upcoming midterm, upcoming test or what have you. And everybody's trying to figure out the, how to cram a, a lot of information, whether you figure out a way or whether you just accept your fate or you accept that there's no more cramming left and you're just sharing whatever it is coming up next. You're just sharing that feeling and sharing that. And that's why I say sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. And let me come, let me make this make sense. Let me make this make sense. While that is definitely true, and if you are new to this and if you are new, I suggest you go back and review the historical documents, noob. Go back and review the historical documents. It ain't hard to find. Rex, you should know. Rex, you should know and you should share the information, but I would do my best to try to catch everyone else up with the rest of us. I really didn't enjoy going to the library to study or to hang out or to share the misery. And yes, misery still in air quotes, share the misery with other peeps in my class or whatever class that was, what was and whatever the situation and whatever the situation called for. I didn't, sometimes I did, most of the time I did not, but that's not to say that I did not enjoy the library. The library was one of, one of the best places I've seen, synced in a long time. It had everything in it. And as most of you know, Rex, that is, I am a, I am, I, I like the sights. I like the sights. I like the visual, the visuals. I like that. And there's a certain part of the library that just, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. And that's to say that I didn't completely rule out the library. In fact, there was a special specific portion of the library that was part of my happy place. But before I get there, the other part of my happy place was directly in front 
of the library out in the grass during the during the hot months. During the hot months, out in the grass, can just lay out in the grass and just chill and look up at the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm just chilling. I'm just relaxing. I'm just taking in the sights, taking in the atmosphere, taking in everything. And if I don't want to do that anymore, I can people watch. I can people watch. I can see some people that I know walk by or cl- uh, people that I have classes with. I can wave them over. I can stop and talk to people. I can text some people to say, hey, come over. I got this cool spot in the grass. You know, that was my happy place in a world of chaos in a world of chaos worrying frantically about how much information i can intake how much information i can intake and retain and still pass and still be considered one of one of the best, if not the best in the class, and still know what I'm talking about when it's time for me to not necessarily regurgitate, but recall the information, not at a given notice, but recall the information in a timely fashion. That was one of my happy places. It was one of my happy places. It was calming. It was definitely something that I did a lot of, and it was in front of the library. So me poo-pooing on the library and not wanting to hang out there and not wanting to do what it do in a library, that is not true. And that's me making this make sense. But it goes, it goes even a little bit further. It goes even a little bit further. I mean, when it was cold, when it snowed, when it was cold, when it snowed, I didn't, I didn't lay in the grass out in the front. I went to the second floor or the third. It just depends. Mostly the second because the second gave me the proper view that I needed. But the third floor gave me the same view and it was a little bit more isolation a little bit more to myself when I truly, truly did not want to be bothered. That was, it happened, but that was rare. It happened, but that was rare. I mostly went to the second floor in the library and on the other side, not the side that was facing or the the side with the grass. It was the other side with the lake. Yes, a lake. It was the other side with the lake, and I'd sit in this uh, love seat while I was sitting in this, this comfy, comfy furniture that was there for us, and it was always facing, or it would face the window, or it would face the, the glass window. Basically, that entire side was glass, so re- regardless of where you were, you can always look out, and you can see the beautiful lake. You can see the lake, the birds, the, it was a, it was an amazing, amazing view, or it is an amazing view. And I would go to the second floor, go to the other side that was facing the lake and I'll find uh, somewhere to sit and I'll sit there and I'll put my uh, headphones on, my music on and just let it play. And just stare out the window and look at the lake and look at the clouds and look at the birds and look at the water and look at the people walking by and look at all of the the, the beauty of the world, the beauty of the world and not have a care at all and not have a sense of anything but just focusing and caring about that moment and what's going on and how it's making me feel and how this is, this is amazing. This is beautiful. Those clouds and the way they're moving, 
the snow, the way it's hitting the window. It was so many different things for me to look at. There was so many different things for me to focus on. Yes, I had the music on, but the music was more so a noise. The music was more or less brown noise or pink noise, and it was just there while my main focus was on what was in front of me, what's going on around me, and what is happening now. That was my happy place. Yes, it was definitely inside the library. It was in a different portion of the library, but it was still the library nonetheless. It was still the library, a different portion, a different part. That's why I said, please, oh please, I'm still this truth teller. I did not mislead you. I was talking about the other portion dealing with other things when it came to actually trying to get knowledge, actually trying to get things done and accomplished. But that was my happy place. That was my happy place during the winter months when it was cold, when it snowed, or when it was raining. It was even beautiful when it rained. It was even beautiful when it rained. And this is just for me to tell you that I went back there today. I went back there today. Did I go? Was I physically there? Uh Uh-uh. That's the thing about the happy place. That's the thing about the happy place. It's remembering. It's recalling. It's what happened or what I felt then and there. And recalling that moment and taking me there or taking me to a place that put a smile on my face and that made me feel good. And yes, the library was a part of that. I know. I know. 